Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com and in this episode I'm going to show you how to go about flashing the firmware on the PanelView Plus 7. Here in RS Links you can see my PanelView Plus 7 is connected to the network with an address of 192.168.1.132. So my next step is to open the Factory Talk View Machine Edition Firmware Upgrade Wizard. And that comes with View Studio. You can download it separately, but it's automatically installed when you install Factory Talk View Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to update the firmware directly on the terminal. You could uh, create a firmware upgrade card, like an SD card or a compact flash card if you wanted to. But I'm going to do it directly to the terminal. And here is where I get a warning saying, hey, this has the potential to wipe out all of your .mer files. So you must, before you do this, you must back up all your applications that are on your panel view plus. So make sure you do that. And then we can go ahead and select yes to that. And then I'm going to choose a network connection. Don't do serial. Um, you can't do serial with the panel view plus seven anyways. It doesn't have serial, right? But even if you're doing over all the panel views, don't do serial. It is very, very slow. Now here in the next display, I'm going to click on the Ethernet driver and let it browse for a while. And then when I'm sure it's browsed the entire network, I'm going to go ahead and select my panel view plus seven and then click on next. And now I'll choose the firmware I want to flash the panel view to. Now, sometimes when you install Factory Talk View Studio, even though it installs the firmware upgrade wizard, you don't get any firmware with it. So if you're in that position, just go to ab.com, click on compatibility and downloads, Search on PanelView Plus 7, then select, I usually select products, and then I select downloads for the product I'm looking for. And then you walk through the procedure just like I've shown you in previous episodes. And when you've done all that, you unzip the zip file and install the firmware. Now, I want to be very clear about this. If you install a newer firmware on a PC that has older View Studio on it, it will probably break your firmware transfer wizard. That's what happened to me when I tried to install firmware 9 on my VMware image that had View Studio 8. The Factory Talk View firmware transfer wizard would no longer work at all. And they say the fix is to go get the older firmware transfer wizard and reinstall it. I just rolled back to a snapshot I had taken earlier, but be very cognizant of that. Do not install new firmware on a system that has an older factory talk view, or you may find yourself reinstalling the firmware transferred wizard. Be aware of that. Now, once you select the firmware in the wizard you want to download to your panel view plus seven, go ahead and select any kept server drivers you need. I don't need any and then select next. Now double check the summary and make sure this is really what you want to do and be cognizant of the fact that you cannot let communications between your PC and the panel view plus seven get interrupted while this is going on. So, and that includes losing power on your PC to the switch or to your panel view plus seven. Cause if that happens, you could end up with a brick. Uh, your panel view plus could be non-operable. So take every step, every measure you can to ensure you're not going to lose power or the connection, the ethernet connections here in my case are not going to be disconnected or interrupted. Now, when the firmware flash is done, you're not done because if you look over here on the panel view, mine's kind of small, but if you take a look at the panel view plus seven screen, now it's going to force you to add a password and it can't be a simple password. No, the password has to be at least eight characters. Um, it has to have at least one uppercase, one lowercase, and either a number or a special character. So be prepared for that. You know, I like to use Rockwell one, Rockwell with a capital R and the number one, anytime I'm required to put a password in for Rockwell Automation stuff. But if you do forget your password, um, I will show in the next episode how you can restore your uh, panel U plus seven to defaults, which also wipes out that password. And of course, any runtime applications you have on the unit as well. And with that, if you know anybody who wants to learn all about the panel view plus, please send them over to theautomationschool.com and tell them to check out my course, PVP Basics. And if you have any questions on anything I did today, feel free to post them on my free forum, theautomationforums.com. And with that, until next time, peace.